वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश फोर नाइन सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम टेंसाइल एंड कंप्रेसिव बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इन बीम इफ इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू अ मूवमेंट ऑफ फोर किप्स इन टू फीट सो दिस मूवमेंट दैट इज अप्लाइड ऑन दिस बीम इज फोर किप्स इन टू फीट सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम टेंसाइल एंड कंप्रेसिव बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस नाउ ड्यू टू दिस लोड सो द बीम विल ब्लैंड बेंड लाइक दिस the upper surface will be in uh, compression while lower surface will be in tension so we will find that uh, that so let's start with the solution so we know that maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so we will find the i for this uh, cross section of the beam that is uh, shown in shown here so what we will do is that we will uh, not solve this i have explained it thoroughly in problem 6 dash 4 8 so we will pick the values from here so let me go take you to the problem 6 dash 4 8 so you can see here this was the beam and the i we have calculated was 391.37 and location of its neutral axis from the top which is uh, this one let me show you 3.40 so we will need first the location of neutral axis from the top surface which we have explained that comes out to be 3.40 and then we calculate it i that is 91.37 so what we will do is that let me copy these things so that i can easily take it to the other problem again if you have any problem you can check out problem 6-48 in order to learn how to get the uh, location of neutral axis uh, location of neutral axis and uh, the value of first moment of uh, second moment of inertia about neutral axis i will just copy it sorry i am getting some problem okay just remember these values y dash and i so i will write these values i will write from problem 6 dash 48 i is equal to 91.73 inch power 4 and y dash which is the location of neutral axis from the top surface was 3.40 inch so let this is the neutral axis so this was your y dash that is 3.40 inch okay now due to the load uh, due to this movement this beam will bend like this the top surface will be under compression while bottom surface will be under tension so we will first find this sigma max tension so that is equal to maximum moment into c divided by i so c for c is equal to for lower surface because the lower surface is in tension so c will be this distance from neutral axis till this and this distance is equal to i will write it this distance this distance is equal to total height which is 10.5 minus this y dash 3.40 inch so c is 10.5 minus 3.40 clear so just put it uh, maximum tensile stress is equal to moment that is given as 4 kips into 4 into 12 kips into inch so 4 into 12 multiplied by c is 10.5 minus 3.40 divided by i which is 91.7 inch power 4 so again when you solve this you will get maximum bending stress due to tensile is equal to 3715.12 psi 
or in term of KSI, it will be 3.72 KSI. This is maximum tensile stress. Now we will find uh, maximum bending stress due to compression that will be in the top portion. So for that we will need C. So C will be this one for compression. So this C is equal to uh, Y dash. You can see this is C is equal to Y dash. So that is equal to movement into C divided by I. So again movement is 4 into 12 kips into inch and C is 3.40 divide by i is 91.7 that will give you maximum bending stress due to compression and when you calculate it it will comes out to be 1779.07 psi or that is equal to 1.78 ksi so this is the maximum bending stress due to compression and this is the maximum bending stress due to tension so here you will have maximum bending stress due to compression and here you will be having maximum bending stress due to tension. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Again, those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.